Welcome to BioScholar. In this video, I will talk about microbial classification. Microbes are pathogenic microorganisms. They are so small, so simple, but are very diverse in nature. And in order to study them, biologist needs a classification system. Microbes are so diverse in nature and because of the diversity, their classification has been a challenge for the scientist. Numerous scientists have contributed to the contemporary view where the microbes fit in. At different times, microbes are classified into different kingdoms. Before the invention of the microscope, scientists found little difficulty in classifying organisms. All organisms were classified just into two kingdoms. Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. The microbes that are like plants are classified into Kingdom Plantae. And the that are like animals they were classified into Kingdom Animalia. Classification of microbes remains somewhat chaotic until 1866 when the German naturalist Ernst H. Haeckel came up with a new system for the microbes. He was the man who coined the term protists for microbes, and placed all fungi, protozoa, slime molds, single-celled algae, and bacteria in the new kingdom, Kingdom Protista. Haeckel's suggestion met some success in the scientific community. But some of the biologists continued to believe that microbes were either plants or animals. They classify protozoa as animals and bacteria, fungi, and algae as plants. In the 1940s, after the discovery of the electron microscope scientists observed that many species of microbes possess certain characters that are unlike that of animals and plants. For example, absence of a nucleus. Presence of certain chemicals in the cell wall. On the basis of these characteristics, all organisms are divided into two groups. Prokaryotes, that lacks a definite nucleus. And eukaryotes, that have a proper nucleus, bounded in a membrane called nuclear membrane. Microbes are placed in these groups according to their perspective characteristics. As the 20th century progressed, advancements in cell biology and evolutionary biology led to question the three kingdom classification scheme that was proposed by Ernest Haeckel. In 1969, Robert H. Whittaker came up with another system. And this gained worldwide acceptance in the scientific community. This system recognizes five kingdoms of organisms. These kingdoms are, Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Animalia, and Kingdom Plantae. Microbes are classified into the first three kingdoms. In Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, and in Kingdom Fungi. The Five Kingdom system is modified further into a three-domain system by Carl Woes and his co-workers in the 1980s. This system is based on contemporary techniques in molecular biology and biochemistry. The three-domain system describes three domains. Domain archaea, domain bacteria, and domain eukarya. In the Five Kingdom system, bacteria and archaea were placed together in Kingdom Monera. But in three domain system, they are placed separated into two domains. In domain bacteria and domain archaea. Other four kingdoms. Kingdom fungi. Kingdom protista. Kingdom animalia. And kingdom plantae are placed together in the domain eukarya. Microorganisms are placed in this system in four kingdoms. In kingdom bacteria. Archaea. Fungi. And in kingdom protista. Let's conclude microbial classification. Before the invention of the microscope, they were classified into two kingdoms. In Kingdom Plantae and in Kingdom Animalia. Then in 1866, all microbes were classified in Kingdom Protista by Ernst Haeckel. In 1969 Robert H. Whittaker classified them, into three kingdoms. In Kingdom Monera, Protista and in Kingdom Fungi. Then in 1980 Carl and his co-workers placed microorganisms into three domains. Domain archaea, domain bacteria, and in domain eukarya, particularly in kingdom protists and kingdom fungi. If you like the video, press the subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so you never miss any new video. Thanks for watching.